They really do. They really do. Beth, I would like to tell you to tell me how the world rea react to polygamy. Thank you very much, Jason. This is probably the number one problem that each of us wake up and think about. <laughs> when we wake up in the morning, we think about polygamy. <laughs> and why is it not legal? <laughs> Why is polygamy not legal? This is what I'll be talking to you about today. Now, think about all the demands on each of our lives. We have a house that needs to be cleaned. We have a yard that needs to be mowed. Do we really think that one spouse is sufficient to take care of these issues? I can guarantee you it is not. The next reason why polygamy should be allowed is because think about all of the, the paperwork involved in administering a family. There's so much IRS forms, there's all kinds of bills that need to get paid. Not only that, but outside relationships, we have friends, we have family, we have a whole social calendar to manage. Just one spouse is not sufficient for dealing with all of these different issues. So my recommendation is that all of these silly laws that the government likes to bring down on us, trying to me legislate morality, it's nothing about m morality. This is about logistics. Who's going to take care of the laundry? Who's going to take care of the car? Who's going to take care of house repairs? You need to have a specific person. It's called the division of labor. Adam Smith in his very wise book, The Wealth of Nations, clarified this topic, which has actually brought wealth to the entire globe. It's division of labor. One person is in charge of car repairs. Another person is in charge of fashion. We need a, a spouse for fashion. We need another person that's just thinking about trees. Trees have a lot of issues. An arborist spouse that's just focused on taking care of the trees, making sure that they're beautiful and wonderful. And then, of course, we haven't even mentioned the most important top subject, pets. Pets have all kinds of needs. They need to be taken to the doctor. They need to be walked. If it's a, if it's a bird, the bird makes all kinds of mess all over the place. This is not appropriate. We need to have division of labor. One person is not sufficient. And that is why I would like to advocate going to the Congress and putting forth a bill, Defense of Polygamy Act. The Defense of Polygamy will make sure that we do not have all of these stresses in our family lives. Now, I haven't even come to the most important subject, children. Children have so many activities nowadays. They have to go to band practice. They have all kinds of sports they're involved in. Children need to be taken and cared for for all these different places that they need to go. Having a specific spouse that's only in charge of managing the social calendar for our children will ensure that these children will be raised correctly. Our children are our future. Why can't we have a spouse that's specifically managing them? Unless we have this, it's completely ridiculous. That's the reason why the mental health institutes are full of people, because the children were not managed properly as they were growing up. The economy is going down. The recession is still occurring. We need to, to fix all these by having more parents in the family who can manage each of the different things. And I am so glad that you brought this subject up today. Because the entire world, Jason, the entire globe is also impacted by this. There are many countries where polygamy is legal. And if you look at their economic situation, you'll see that they are on the uprise. Okay? If you think about poppy seeds, cultures that have poppy seed growth, they are definitely doing better. Those families have a much more robust family life. Now, I think that if polygamy was more accepted throughout the entire world, we'd have more case studies and we'd see 
that those families would have much less mental health issues. I think I've made a very good case here. Polygamy is required for the proper care of family, your outside of your home, the yard, the laundry, fashion, yes, and of course raising children and someone also to manage the social calendar. And I am very thankful for this opportunity to bring this important subject to light today. And every one of you needs to go and sign up on the Polygamy Now website. <laughs> Put your names on there. Be recognized as a movement of change. Don't sit around and wait for someone else to change the world because you, it's your responsibility. Woo. Thank you. Woo.